Today, Tuesday, January 12, 2021, the Ministry of Health and Wellness received confirmation of 12 new cases of COVID-19 from a batch of 100 COVID-19 tests conducted at the Ezra Long Laboratory. This brings a total number of cases diagnosed in country to date to 490. All the 12 cases are St. Lucia nationals ranging in age from 11 years to 55 years. Three are from the Babano district, four from the Grosley district, and five from the Castries district. These individuals were all seen at the community respiratory clinics where they were assessed and tested for COVID-19. They were placed in quarantine by the healthcare practitioners pending the receipt of their test results. Epidemiological links have since been established for 11 of those cases thus far. Investigations are ongoing by the contact tracing team to determine the existence of a link for the last case. Arrangements have been made to place these individuals into isolation. The Ministry of Health also reported one recovery for today, January 12, 2021. There are currently 170 active cases, all being stable and none requiring critical care. The Ministry of Health cautions the public that given the rate of increase in confirmed COVID-19 cases over the past few days, our personal choices and actions in protecting ourselves and our loved ones need to be closely monitored and managed. We can overcome COVID-19, but this will be if we keep at the forefront and our minds the actions which keep us all safe. Our collective commitment to the infection prevention guidelines can reduce COVID-19 infections. That is, we keep washing our hands often during the day, ensuring you use soap and flowing water. Always wear a mask when in public, and it must cover the mouth, nose, and chin. Maintain the recommended distance of six feet from others wherever possible. Use a bleach solution to sanitize frequently touched surfaces and frequently handled objects. Avoid contact with other people who have flu-like symptoms. If you are experiencing flu-like symptoms, keep away from others and seek medical care at the closest community respiratory clinic. The Ministry of Health and Wellness will continue providing updates as new information becomes available.